We're spending the next few days living with a medicine man, a medicine woman, and their four children at their spiritual center called Echoes of Light. Over the next 72 hours, we'll be in a sweat lodge after eating some cactus-infused chocolates, learning the traditional method of making drums from wood and hide, practicing Aztec dancing, and diving deep into our emotions with a ceremonial sharing circle. I have to say, as a family, we've never done a volunteer experience like this before, so we'll see how it goes. This week, we're in the more northern part of Costa Rica, close to Nicaragua, where we're doing a work exchange. We are doing our work exchange at a nature retreat that specializes in plant medicine and cultural experiences. We're going to be tending to the garden, helping out with the kids that live here, and taking part in different activities and experiences that they offer. He made a drum! Echoes of Light is run by Valerie and her husband, Rurico, experts in plant medicine and spiritual healing experiences. The two now live in Costa Rica, but have ancestry in both Egypt and Mexico. Their property is stunning. A food forest and garden with edible plants where many of the delicious plant-based meals come from. We're also not the only ones here. There are other volunteers from around the globe who found this place from a site called World Packers. That's how we found this place too. World Packers is an online subscription-based platform for travelers to connect with different hosts around the world who are offering different cultural experiences in what's called a work exchange. In exchange for these cultural experiences that also sometimes come with accommodations or meals or ac extra activities, you are volunteering your time. The best part about World Packers is you're really culturally immersing yourself, as well as potentially learning a new language and giving back. This week, C and I are going to take turns volunteering in different parts of this place. So that could be gardening and taking care of the kids, as well as partaking in some of the activities and offerings that they have here. The day we arrived, we jumped right in with plant medicine and ate some cacao infused with medicinal cactus. Then we swiftly made our way into the first sweat lodge we've ever experienced, called the Temascal. <laughs> To give some reference, this is what it looked like during the day. A tiny jungle igloo made with branches and covered in multiple layers of cloth. There was a fire pit in the middle where glowing hot rocks were placed inside and doused with water to make us sweat like we have never sweat before. We'd be here for the next two hours listening to chanting and drumming while our bodies endured the 110 degree Fahrenheit heat in complete darkness. The experience was actually a lot harder than I anticipated. And once we came outside and looked at ourselves in the mirror, we were shocked at what we saw. Red eyes. That was a very unique experience. And I like that I didn't know what to expect going in. I had never done one before. There were points where I was like, I want to get out. It's so hot. Like, I want to get out. I was getting a little, little bit restless, but then I just surrendered to it. And then at the halfway mark, I thought it was the end. And she's like, oh, we're halfway done. And I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't possibly stay in for the rest of it. But I did. And I'm glad I did because it was like a whole other wave of experience coming out. It's like a rebirth of leaving behind, you know, things that about myself that do me no good, right? That I just want to leave behind and be birthed out in like a new version of myself. Good morning, everyone. Today is day one of volunteer work here. I'm going to be out volunteering, tending to the garden. This was the, the room we were in. There was a double bed. There was another bed over here for Kai. Lots of space for clothes and gear. It's really nice and it's super clean. This is the eldest son, Abidan, apprentice to his father, the medicine man, Rurico. I'll be helping him today to do some work around the property, starting with cleaning the sweat lodge from last night. These were all the musical instruments from last night, maracas and shakers. 
these were antlers that they used to lift the rocks into the, the pit in the middle. We've hung all the blankets and sheets that were covering the sweat lodge. This cover we're going to leave here to dry off in the sun. We're going to remove all of these rubber mats on the inside and scrub them in the river. Using the natural resources on the land is part of the experience. So I was shown how to use the river, a rock and a brush to clean the rubber mats. One down, 10 more to go. Now this took me way longer than anticipated, especially when I knew I could pressure wash these mats in five minutes and move on to my next task. But there was something very peaceful about using the river to complete this task without the use of electricity or noisy equipment. So today Sia is out and helping with the garden and just some other tasks around the yard and I am with the kids just hanging out playing. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. You got it, you got it. While Kristen spends time with the kids, I moved on to my next task, chopping down a bamboo fence. I'm taking down a, a whole bamboo fence. They used to have a horse here, but now they moved the horse to another piece of land. So there's this old bamboo fence that's rotting away, full of termites. And if I find a lot of termites, I've just been tossing it in the chicken coop, and the chickens are just losing their minds, eating like millions of termites. <laughs> They're all termites, and they don't bite. These are all termites. Yeah. They, now baby, watch. chickens will eat them. Okay? These, huh, while I'm on you, they're so it's like, what? I'm a feed chickens. If only there was somebody really strong that could help me lift this. Ah. Okay, get on the other side of it. Okay, lift it up, lift it up. Yeah. Ah. Carry it over there. Chickens, chickens are never there. My morning of physical labor is complete. Time for a delicious plant-based lunch before heading back to the garden. The food here is incredible. We had handmade corn tortillas with vegetables. Fueling me up for my afternoon of volunteer work. 
where I'd be clearing the jungle floor to make space for ceremonies happening by the river. And tonight, we'll be making our very own ceremonial drum. Volunteering on the land is both rewarding and relaxing. After my first day of working at Echoes of Light, I wanted to hear from the other volunteers living here. My name is Lauren, I'm from Indiana and I've been here for about a, a little over a year now. I originally found Echoes of Light through World Packers after removing myself from my doctorate program. I wanted to do some traveling and kind of get out there and experience different cultures and a different way of living. Prior to coming here I was introduced to the medicine in the United States and I was on a quest to find a space where I could practice with the medicine intimately and share and learn with others. So being here, I think it was about two weeks and Val and Rudico had asked me to be the godmother of their children. So it was really right off the bat quite a fit and I actually didn't go <laughs> really anywhere else other than here. And I've been helping to run the retreat center for about a year now and I help care for the children, help with the cooking and the cleaning, and assist in medicinal ceremonies. So you're on this big quest, and yeah. this was like stop one? This was stop one, yeah. The, the plan was actually to go like all over the world, really. <laughs> to be honest, I've learned more in this last year than I have in my entire life. <laughs> wow. Well, my name is Amish. I'm from uh, Los Angeles, California, and I'm, well, I've am i been here for about a month and a half. And um, yeah, I'm probably going to be here for another week, and then I'm going back to the other side of the country. I've just been helping around uh, with the house, cleaning up, and taking care of the kids, and it's been super fun. The family's been welcoming and with their hearts open, and it's been a great experience over here. Are you sleeping in one of the tents? Yes, yeah, I'm sleeping in the blue tent back there. It's just a cozy experience over there. I'm sure it sounds amazing too. Yes, definitely. Uh, my name is Amy. I'm from Montreal, Canada. Um, I've been staying here for two weeks and my experience is really nice, really calming. If you want to connect deeper with yourself, like it's the best like place to be. I'm here on a two-week volunteer trip. I wake up at 6 and I started working at 6 30 to clean the area and like during the day I take a, I go off some for some walk with the kids. I'm sleeping in a tent. Yeah there's a camping area up there like uh, the, the volunteering are sleeping there. Yeah. Can we go see the tent? Yeah sure. Let's go see the tent. There are the showers for the volunteers. There's a cold shower and a hot shower. And these are the tents. That's my tent and that's the other volunteer's tent. Nice. Yeah. Can we see inside your tent? Yeah, it's a little <laughs> messy, but yeah, sure. So yeah, that's where I sleep every night and get ready during the day. I got my little snack <laughs> for my midnight snack. You need to have the midnight snack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but we get a really great lunch every day, so I feel pretty full cool anyway. So lunch is included. Yeah, lunch every... is included, and we like we go in town to buy some foods for like cooking breakfast and dinner. So would you recommend this experience? Yeah, one hundred percent. Like it would have cost me so much more money to just like travel around Costa Rica than like now I got a place to stay and like I meet some really cool people too. Rainy season here in Costa Rica means it rains each day, typically in the afternoon and evening. So we headed indoors for our private drum making lesson with the medicine man himself. I'm making a drum, like the ones that we were listening to the drum beats last night in the sweat lodge. It's like a drum similar to that. It's cool to make your own instrument, especially something like this, which is so like earthy and something really special about it. And I can't wait to like have it displayed in our home here.
We need a lot of muscle for this. It's not easy. That is solid. He made it on drop. This took probably about an hour and a half. It's it's incredible. Look at that. Right now the hide is wet, so tomorrow we're gonna leave it out in the sun for a few hours to dry it up so that we can play it. Because if we were to play it now, which you shouldn't, it would leave dents in the drum. I can't wait to test it out. It's so beautiful. You're looking at the finished product of the drum we made last night. It feels so cool. It looks so organic and beautiful. How does it sound? Drumming is a big part of each ceremony here, and that's especially true for our Aztec dance lesson. Ruriko led us in a traditional dance meant to honor the gods, and the repetitive movements are meant to be a form of meditation in motion. I'm actually impressed with how we did. What do you think? Dale, más rápido. In my hair because I just did like five minutes of Aztec dancing and I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> it's really fun but what a workout oh my god so much fun this is like the best way to work out dancing having fun something cultural learning something new
With our ASIC dancing lesson complete, I volunteered a few hours removing weeds from walkways and had a relaxing afternoon with Kai and her new friend, Quetzal. after the kids went to bed, the adults got together for a peaceful evening in their ceremonial hut for a sharing circle and singing by the fire, opening our hearts and voices to each other in a safe and sacred space. Well, but it's encouraged to share every time it comes to you because then you, you, kind of, you go kind of deeper and deeper every time. This was our first experience on a World Packers work exchange and we can definitely see the appeal for both hosts and volunteers. We had three days of completely new cultural experiences mixed with the phenomenal plant-based food all while hanging out with travelers, animals, and the wonderful family that called this place home. If you're interested in a World Packers work exchange, visit the website by clicking the link below. <laughs>